Good morning, everyone. Merry Christmas. I'm Richard Cornfield. Uh, I'm the pioneer priest of Mustard Seed Edinburgh. And it's Christmas Day, our most joyous and wonderful day. And this is just a simple video to mark that it is Christmas Day. I hope you have a brilliant and wonderful Christmas, a fantastic one. I hope your day is special and significant, even if you're having to celebrate it in a very different way to what you were expecting because of the dreaded lockdown stuff. What I want to say today is simply that Christmas is the best of everything. It's our best thoughts about each other and it's our best thoughts about God. Miraculously, God has reached out and connected with us and that connection is so important. Sometimes explaining Christmas and working out what it all means is hard to explain. I loved our Alpha course this autumn and one of our esteemed guests on it, Ian Miller, really helped me as he explained that for him. All of this miraculous story of God is a mystery and a mystery in a good way because Christmas is not obvious or usual or so easily explainable as any good mystery is. But there's something deep about it and that draws us in. St John tried to explain it to us in his gospel, John's gospel, and it all starts in chapter one. The message translation of that gospel expresses John's words like this. The word was first, the word present to God, God present to the word. The word was God in readiness for God from day one. Everything was created through him. Nothing, not one thing, came into being without him. What came into existence was life, and the life was light to live by. The life light blazed out of the darkness, and darkness couldn't put it out. A few verses, John goes on. The life light was the real thing. Every person entering life, he brings into light. He was in the world. The world was there through him. And yet the world didn't even notice. He came to his own people, but they didn't want him. But whoever did want him, who believed he was who he claimed and would do what he said, he made to be their true selves, their child of God's self. These are the God begotten, not blood begotten, not flesh begotten, not sex begotten. The word became flesh and blood and moved into the neighbourhood. We saw the glory with our own eyes, the one of a kind glory, the glory like father, like son, generous inside and out, true from start to finish. So Christmas is declaring that God has moved into our neighbourhood. He is our neighbour. Yet, as John declares, often it's hard to see this. Sometimes we don't even want to see it. We might even turn our backs on it, reject it, neglect it. It's not convenient, at least at the moment. But despite that, and despite sometimes uh, it's convenient to avoid all these things and these God thoughts, these mysterious thoughts, Christmas is here and it always will be sometimes inconveniently, sometimes invisibly, and that never is easy. But Christmas is here, and it's for us all at Mustard Seed. And we're saying and declaring today that God is light, God is love, God is forever, God is with us, we are his children, and we belong to God. And all that is down to the baby born in Bethlehem. Now that's a really vulnerable story. It could have easily have gone wrong. And just because we're living through tough and complex times of the pandemic, this story doesn't have any less value. Just because times are hard doesn't make this story any less valuable. In fact, in the darkest, the light shines brightest. In the most difficult of times, love is the most impressive. And in the loneliest of times, it's rather wonderful to be reminded of the presence of Jesus. So I invite you all to open the doors of your hearts and lives to Jesus this Christmas. Oh, we've lived through a hard year, but this Jesus is present now, as he always has been. It's a mystery, but the babe born at Bethlehem promises us hope 
and a relationship with God. And those are two of the most exceptional gifts. Hope and a relationship. Yours. Just open the door of your life to him in Christmas 2020. Let's pray. Yea, Lord, we greet thee, born this happy morning. Jesus, to thee be glory given. Word of the Father, now in flesh appearing. O come, let us adore him. O come, let us adore him. O come, let us adore him. Christ the Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, your birth at Bethlehem draws us to kneel in wonder at heaven touching earth. Accept our heartfelt praise as we worship you, our Saviour and our eternal God. And a blessing for today. May the joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds, the perseverance of the Magi, the obedience of Joseph and Mary and the peace of the Christ child be yours this Christmas and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you all evermore. Amen. Now, speaking of opening our doors to Jesus this Christmas, our friends at Stenhouse Baptist Church here in Edinburgh have done this most beautiful nativity. And I'm going to leave us all with this nativity uh, on this Christmas day. I hope it brings a lot of joy uh, to you as you watch it. Enjoy it. But most importantly, as you go through the rest of the day, have an absolutely wonderful Christmas. And I say this with confidence. You are loved. Now let's enjoy this nativity. God bless you. Doors, they come in all different shapes, styles and sizes. Scruffy ones and pretty ones, fancy ones and simple ones, old doors and new doors. We can use doors to keep people out and to let people in. There was a time, you know, when we used to leave our doors wide open and welcome friends through them. A long time ago, in a land far away, some smart Alex from the east heard rumours about something special taking place. These fancy folk got on their donkey and set off. It was the speediest way to get anywhere in those days. And they followed a bright star in the sky when they weren't sure where to go. There were travel restrictions in place, but Persia were in tier 2 so it was fine. Over in Israel they were heading into lockdown. Everyone had to go back to where they were born. Some people broke the rules. People got real mad. Some others started buying all the toilet roll and nobody knew why. There were a young couple called Joseph and Mary. Common people whose households were expecting a very special delivery. A new baby was coming very soon and they had to make their way back to Bethlehem. They asked if they could stay at a local B&B. We are closed, came the B&B owner's response. So they went down the road and asked somewhere else. They didn't sorry pal, came another. All the doors were closed to them. Eventually, they found a spot where they could get comfy. Well, as comfy as you can get, surrounded by noisy animals. But it was here Mary gave birth to a wee boy, and they named him Jesus. People from all over came to see what was happening. There were noisy animals and nosy animals, and scruffy shepherds on their night shift. And the smart Alex from the east made it, eventually, with some wee gifts. Angels arrived too and started singing. Not everyone was so happy about it though, but everyone knew something special had just happened. It was the middle of the night, but it didn't feel dark. Something had changed, hope had arrived. People have told the story to each other for hundreds of years, and we're telling it again. At the end of a nightmare year, where our doors have all been shut. Christmas is a story of God stepping into history. God with us, God for us. Whether we are scruffy or pretty, fancy 
or a common, old or new. A light shines in the darkness and the darkness has not overcome it. The light still shines and when we open our lives to him, hope steps through the door. Happy Christmas from Stenhouse. Ha 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 ha!